Okay guys, today I'm going to explain the Bross Wheeler's transformation. So <clears throat> the string is banana and first we do the rotation of the string. So first I write the end string, then the B, then A, N, A, N, A. Then the next time this A comes here and this goes here and it will be this then we have the a n a n and again this comes here then it's n then these guys goes here a the end of the string then the whole string b a n a and finally <coughs> we come to the end state where we finish all the rotation now what we do is based on this column the first column we will sort the whole row so when we sort the row then so first is the end string then this comes the a this goes here and this goes here so similarly we do the normal sorting and now <clears throat> this is the final sorted state where we see the first row is sorted and so what we do now is we save this last column then we also save the last string I mean not the string the character which is the end of the character so so in the Bross Wheeler's uh, <coughs> transformation we only save the last column and the last string so this is the end string and character so finally we save the last string and the last character now based on <coughs> this we have to get the original string which is the banana though so what's the what's the point of doing this rotation so the point of doing this rotation is Bross Willis transformation makes the transform the string such a way that uh, the repeated characters uh, go uh, repeated characters are near to each other such a way so when we apply some compression algorithm then it is more efficient than the original string that is banana now what we do now is based on this um, string we get the original string which is the banana and how we do is first we store that we know what is the last character and this is the so this is the position of the last character so this is the last character and <clears throat> so based on the last character we get the first character that is the B so we write B then since this is the first B so we go to the last column again that has the first B and from this B, from the first column, we get the character A and we write A. Now, this is the third A. Now, in the last column, we go to the third A. And this is this. So, we go here. And from this A, we get the N. And we write N. Since this is the second N, so we should go to the second N of the last column. So, we go to this N. And from here we go to A. So we write A. This is the second A. So we go here. And from here we get N. So we write N. So this is the first N. So we go to the first N of the last column. And from here we get A. We write A. And this is the first A. And we go to the first A. Then first from the A we get the N of the character. And this is the first N of the <clears throat> end of the string then we go to the first end of the string and hence we can't go anywhere so this is the end character so now we stop the algorithm and therefore we get the banana